talking to you about uh, why private investigators should never use autofocus. Good example of a little backup camera that's helpful but not uh, with the capabilities of manual focus is this little Canon for $2.99. Uh, great backup but not a primary. You can step up a notch here into the Sony, the 4K. It's got focal ring, it's got manual focus. As you can see from the price, it's $8.99. So you're stepping up, but this is the proper equipment that you need. And then this video is shot with the A6000 mirrorless camera, telephoto, interchangeable lenses, easy to use, very light but sturdy, uh, and great, uh, great optics. So using autofocus in the rain, good example here where you turn the camera on, autofocus is engaged, and the camera struggles to get past a light sheet of rain that's covered the window. The sign in the background is the focal point and all sorts of objects as well as the rain are getting in the way and the camera is laboring to focus. So slow response leads to poor quality or no video at all. If this was a crucial shot you may miss it. It may not be such good quality that you don't include it and therefore a lost opportunity. Manual focus camera may in a certain situation take a little bit more to focus but you will get the shot and the better you are at using your equipment the faster that will happen. Looking at using uh, windshield wipers in the rain, uh, this is another example of some of the limitations of uh, autofocus. Uh, the car in the background being your subject matter, uh, the autofocus is laboring between the windshield wipers, the rain, cars coming back and forth. And these are just a few examples of some of the scenarios that will happen if you're using a camera with autofocus. Another situation here as you can see is this car comes into view and now even though you're at times focused on the the object in the back which may be your what you're trying to film uh, this vehicle that's coming into, into play here is also gonna uh, disorient the camera as you try and balance and stabilize the camera uh, to the object in the, in the distance there so switching over to manual focus same environment seconds later you can see there's no problem getting past the windshield wipers there's no problem with the rain, the vehicles that are coming and going are not presenting any problems or challenges. Another car comes into play here, uh, there's no problems or challenges. And someone walks by with an you know, umbrella, there's no problems, uh, no, no laboring by the camera, just focused on the area that you have decided you want to focus on. Switching back to autofocus, the camera is laboring to get beyond the rain let alone the windshield wipers and as the windshield wipers cycle you'll see that uh, the vehicle eventually is able to filter and here in this case there is no windshield wipers but it gets past the rain and finally is able to focus on on the closest object and again if your subject was say inside that shop you'd have a challenge uh, getting the video. Chain link fence is another one that is a common scenario and when to be wary of autofocus. In many cases, like in this instance here using autofocus, there is no way to get beyond that chain link fence. It just it just can't happen. It's not a possibility. So here you have a scenario where unlike rain, you're just not gonna get the video. And if you do, it's gonna be so blurry you don't want to submit it. Switching the camera over to to manual focus. You just you can zoom past that chain link fence. You can still see it, but at least you're able to get quality and you can see the camera adjusting as we adjust the, the focal point and again for effect back to autofocus zooming all the way out zooming all the way in and the camera just does not want to or cannot get past that closest image which is the, the function of autofocus and we'll switch it back to manual focus just for the last segment here and you'll see no problem you know not the greatest video and, and the environmental conditions can be can vary and situations can be different but at the end of the day uh, you don't ever want to use autofocus and you always want to try and get video where you can thanks for your time